Good evening everyone, and I hope everyone's safe and well. I'm Dino De Salvo, the principal here at Ketchum Bukhu Academy, and I really hope you enjoy our virtual open evening. We're really disappointed, obviously we can't have parents in the building this evening, but I hope tonight gives you a real flavour what life is like at KBA. I want to talk to you first about what the vision of KBA looks like. We really believe that all students can achieve. We've really built around this culture of ambition. Students, doesn't matter what aspect they come from, what town, what village, that we really believe the students deserve a first class education and really can achieve. And that's really built around our aspirational teacher learning. We are very lucky that we have some of the best teachers in the country. And this built around the culture of ambition and university aspirations. We want, we want doors to be open for students. We want students when they get to the end of GCSEs, end of A-levels, to go to top universities, top GCSEs. And we want students to really aim high in their careers. And that's built around this culture of ambition we have in the academy. And part of our DNA is about that accountability and high standards in everything we do. And we, I will talk to you shortly about exam results. But the, the academy is much more than that. And I'm going to talk to you about the experiences, the flavours, the how system, about what we really offer all students at KBN. It's not about just education. We want students to be well-mannered, well-spoken, well-dressed. We want well-rounded, but when they leave this, this academy, when they're in society, that they really are proud when we leave this academy to a well-mannered and well-rounded student. You know, we talk on the vision board about the street stops the gate. And we really mean about students walk into a learning culture where they're dressed smart, they're, they're well mannered, they say please and thank you, they're, they're here to work hard and really achieve their dreams. And, and I think what we found in the last four years, that has become real reality for all students at the academy. And you know, like I said at the start, it's about believing in students that when they come here, that we can really do special things with our students. And you know, it's really built around our three core principles about no excuses, no limits and no excuses to everything we do. And I'll, I'll talk shortly about knowledge is power and hard work in students, but you can see in the board in front of you, all, all the things you see underpins everything we believe in, in terms of from teaching and learning to exam results to this evening, how we present things. And it's a big part of the culture here about expectations and high standards and students that come here, it's about a seven year journey to education and our curriculum really entails the whole breadth of studies into the experiences, the trips, the visits and different elements of the house system that really fulfills all student culture aspirations. You can see here from some of the images of students collecting their exam results in year 13 and in year 11 from our advanced level studies and our GCSEs that we really promote about high standards equals high ambitions and it's again what we spoke about, about improving the life chance of our students that when they get the results the doors open to the future for students to go to top universities, top careers, top apprenticeships and making sure students have every opportunity to succeed and the school offers that support in terms of the quality of teaching but also the quality of provision we offer through the curriculum. Now what you'll see in front of you is exam results from 2019 which the academy is currently held to account for. We had great results over in, during 2020, but this is what currently the school is held to account for. And I'll just go over some of, the, some of the core and key figures. So the school is built around a really successful core subjects. You can see our science, our English and math results with you know, over 77% of students achieving a grade four or above in English. And that underpins the success of all subjects in our academy. Our Progress 8 score of 0.61 in 2009 placed us in the top 10% of schools nationally. And our advanced level studies over three years has placed us also in the top 10% nationally. And we're really proud of that journey. And, and I think that really underpins what I talked about around that culture of all students can achieve, but also that the quality of teaching in the academy. And I make no, no bones about that, that we have some of the best teachers in the country delivering high quality lessons day in day out for all our students and the three year trend we're really proud of in terms of GCC and advanced level studies. This summer we had students go to Oxford and Cambridge, top record numbers going to top universities in the country, students getting you know, really aspirational apprenticeships and great careers and you know that is sort of complemented by our, our, with our successful alumni programme making sure we keep in touch with 
past students who can come into the academy and um, you can see a sort of a, a tweet in the left hand side part of our vision statement about improving the life chances in first class education now what's really important that it doesn't matter what who you are at this academy if you're an associate staff a teaching staff a head teacher we're one team we're one voice we're one community and Everything we do has to promote the highest standards and expectations, whether it be in a sort of a display board or the quality of teaching, the quality of teaching, it has to be high quality day in, day out. And it's about standards and keeping standards high. And some of the work you hear shortly about what we, how we conduct ourselves in lockdown and remote learning, it's about making sure students get access to everything they need to be successful. And that's what this school really believes on. And that's what's the ethos and culture here in this academy. And you'll see shortly about what life is like at KBA. But I wanted to give you really talk to you about what we believe in. This is sort of the mission for us and what we've successfully achieved over the last four years is being a flagship school across the whole country. We're very rare, we're an all through academy, 4 to 18, only one of 50 in the country and we're the most successful. Um, I know I'll talk about that we are due an Ofsted inspection, so our Ofsted was due last February, so we're hoping to have an early inspection this year to stamp what the school has done over the last four years in terms of results, quality of education, and provision we offer all students across the academy. But I think what's really important that the academy, when you walk into this academy, we offer a safe, stimulating, positive experience for students through education, through the curriculum, through experiences, through the how system, but more importantly, the connections made from student to teacher and that culture and ethos when they walk into the building is so important to us and what we've been able to really put in place over the last five years. Some really key stuff um, I'm gonna sort of talk about this evening. So shortly, you wanna hear from my Deputy Principal, Richard Shaw, who is responsible for teaching and learning. And we'll talk about our remote learning package. And I think parents really wanna hear what's been put in place to the academy. You'll hear from my Vice Principal, Phil Henton, who oversees behavior and safeguarding. Um, on the diagram, you can see Sean Cowley, who's Vice Principal, oversees data and academy performance. Ian Holmes is our Assistant Principal, who puts our curriculum together and ensure that we have that fluid five years and seven year study of program for students and Caroline Hawthorne, who is our non-teaching head of year seven, and that's crucial to oversee transition, have time to really make sure that transition is smooth from primary until secondary uh, into part of the academy. And I can sort of talk about the culture and the ethos and the academy. What we want to really give you is a flavor of what life is like at KBA. So we've produced a, a video that hopefully shows you what I've been talking about in the vision at KBA. Thank you very much. I can feel my soul ascending. I'm on my way. Can't stop me now. And you can do the same. Yeah. What have you done today to make you feel proud? It's never too late to try. Stop me.
Hi, I'm Richard Shaw, I'm Deputy Principal at KBA and I'm in charge of uh, teaching and learning and tonight I'm going to talk to you briefly about remote learning. Um, in March, following the lockdown, uh, we responded rapidly to ensure the continuation of learning uh, for our students whilst maintaining high standards of education. As a member of the country's largest trust, we have access to a very broad online uh, curriculum um, through United Learning. We were, uh, additionally, we were very proud to have 10 members of staff who are widely recognised as being leading educationalists in their respective fields who contributed to the Oak National Academy. Um, staff were trained within the school, were trained in, in the delivery of live lessons using Microsoft Teams, uh, which enabled us to deliver high quality, engaging lessons to our students, which minimised the loss to learning. Um, at this point, I would uh, urge you to um, be mindful of um, that, that uh, there needs to be individual access to IT in some form at home, and that is so important if, um, if remote learning is to function. I will now show you a, a brief example from Oak Academy um, of our assistant principal um, and teacher of science, Sophie Dale, uh, as an example of what was placed on the Oak National Academy um, and what students have access to. Start off by looking at some key facts and some diagrams. We're going to try and answer some questions, so some common questions that come up. We'll be looking at the required practical activities. We will look at the electromagnetic spectrum and we'll also go through a little bit about refraction. Hi everyone and welcome to Art with me, Mr. Salvo. I hope you're well today. Um, today we're going to be creating a mixed media work. So in today's lesson we're going to be creating a mixed media work which links to our theme and records the skills and knowledge we have learnt. Um, question for you, when we start any artwork, what do we always look for? Um, I'm hoping straight away you're thinking and saying basic shapes, because of course that's what we always look for. And a bit of a recap really of, of the media we've used so far. Um, so so far we've used coffee as paint, we've used collage, we've used pen, we've used pattern work in terms of the zen tangle, we've used just text, we've used pencil and we've also used photography. Um, the question is which have been most successful for you? Um, Good evening everybody, my name is Phil Henton and I'm Vice Principal here at Kettering Buccleuch Academy. My responsibilities cover behaviour and safeguarding and the first thing I'm going to talk to you about this evening are the core values that underpin everything we do here at KBA. So when students come into KBA we make sure that they are taught the importance of respect, determination and ambition. And respect underpins everything that we do because we know that that is such an essential life skill. Part of that respect involves showing pride in the way that students dress and it also shows respect to each other by using manners, by saying please, by saying thank you and by supporting each other. We also have a very clear behaviour system within the academy because we know that students deserve disruption free learning every minute of every lesson. We have high standards, we have firm expectations and we accept no excuses and we make no apology for our standards being that high. Now there will be lots of you watching this evening who may have questions about the school admissions process, particularly if this is the first time that you're applying for a secondary school place for your child. So we advise you to go to Northamptonshire County Council's admissions website to make sure that you understand the key dates and deadlines for secondary school admissions. Some of you may already have started to complete your online application form. That started on the 10th of September and you can go in and change your form as many times as you would like. But the deadline is the 31st of October of 2020 at 5pm. 
and it's really important that you understand that that is the deadline and if you send your application in even a minute or two minutes after 5 p.m. on the 31st of October you will be considered a late application. Now you've got a bit of a wait to find out which school your child will be allocated because offers are made on the 1st of March next year in 2021 and offer emails will be sent to you or you can log in to view your offer online. Now here at KBA we have a very clear admissions policy and I would advise all parents and carers to make sure that they read through that. When you read through our admissions policy you'll see that we have an admissions test and this year that takes place on Saturday the 5th of December. We've already had emails from some parents who have noticed that that's the same day as Brooke Weston's testing and we say to you don't worry about that because what we are very very clear about is that um, if we have a parent who has a time for their test at Brook Weston which clashes with ours we will offer you an alternative time on that same day. We must make clear to all parents and carers who are choosing to apply for a place at KBA that as per our admissions policy preference is given to test takers over those who do not take the test. And if you have any questions about what our admissions test is composed of, please visit our website, go to the admissions page, and it is explained there clearly for you, including a set of frequently asked questions. One thing that parents sometimes think is that an admissions test is a way for schools to skew their intake so that they are able to take more able students. That is absolutely not the case here at KBA. And the graph that you see in front of you now shows very clearly that we take students from all stay nines by percentage according to national numbers of students who fall within those stay nines. We will offer 4% of our places to the students who achieve the highest result and 4% to the children who receive the lowest result in our admissions test. And we actually offer the most places to students who fall in stay 95 which is in the middle of um, those bands. Of course we have 180 places available in year 7 for external applicants. If you are a parent of a child who is already at KBA's primary school you do not need to apply for a place because your child will not be moving school. That will bring up our total number of students in year 7 to 240 as we have 60 students in our own um, primary school. Finally, once this presentation has finished, we'd ask you to reload kba.uk, our homepage, and you will see at the top of the page the link for our virtual open evening. If you click on that link, you'll be taken onto a page which gives you some further information, and some of you may have been visiting that already. One of the things that we've produced for parents this year is an interactive version of our KBA vision board. When you go to the page if you click on the vision board it will take you to an interactive version of it. You just need to scroll your way around with your mouse and then click on each of the icons on our board and it will take you to a short video which is being delivered by one of our members of staff. Those include Caroline Hawthorne who Mr DeSalvo has already told you is in charge of transition is the head of year seven but also a range of other staff Mr Shaw, Miss Millsop who's our operations director Sophie Dale, Mr Freya, Sean Cowley, as well as one of our students, Matthew, in Year 10, who speaks to you about how Kettering Buckleugh Academy has helped to unlock his potential. Another thing that you'll be able to do is you'll be able to look at some videos which give you a virtual tour of parts of our building. We're very sorry that we can't invite you into the building this year to look around, but we know you understand the reasons for that. Some of those videos are on the screen in front of you now and one thing I would ask all parents to show their children is the virtual tour of moving around the building. We know that some students moving from small primary schools can feel intimidated, perhaps even worried about coming to a big building like KBA, but that video will show you around the corridors and explain how the building works. You'll also be able to take virtual tours guided by myself around key areas of the academy building which include our careers corridor, our subject corridors for science, for languages and humanities, and a virtual tour of the Art Barn, where you'll have the opportunity to see some of our students' amazing work. All that's left for me to say now is thank you very much for joining us. 
and on behalf of Mr De Salvo, the principal, all the members of the senior leadership, the staff, the students and the governing body at Kettering Buckley Academy, thank you for joining us this evening. We hope you have found it useful and informative and we look forward to seeing you applying for a place at KBA.